hello guys welcome to my youtube channel simulation by atom so in this video we are going to model super capacitor with ion transport in it and it's a galvanostatic model meaning that i'm going to apply a constant current for the charging and discharging of my super capacitor and i'm going to make use of transport of dilute species module as well as transport of dilute species in porous media module in comsol 5.6 and it's a single stack exist metric single stack means that we have two electrodes and in between them we have electrolyte I'm going to consider axis of rotation something like this so this geometry will rotate around this one to give me the whole cylindrical thing and at this left side this red line this boundary is where I'm going to apply my electric current and the cathode and anode both of these are porous in nature while the electrolyte in between them it's simple liquid now in real cases we have porous medium in the center as well but for my convenience i'm going to use like liquid here and on the rightmost side we have ground which is basically zero electric potential electric current as for the properties of the electrolyte i'm going to use tetra ethyl ammonium tetra fluoroborate which in short TEABF4 and when we dissolve this one in propylene carbonate we get TEA positive ion and BF4 negative ion as for these four properties we are going to need them diffusion coefficient for in the electrolyte and diffusion coefficient in the porous matrix so let's jump right to the module now in order to simulate ion transport we are going to need secondary current distribution module which I already set up it's like and I also discussed this whole setup thing in my previous video which the link of which I'm going to give in the description down below now in order for us to simulate ion transport we are going to add physics here and the physics would be chemical species transport and I'm going to select transport of dilute species double click this one since this one only deals with the electrolyte in between so I'm only going to select this one and I want only migration in electric field since this is not a porous media here you can consider that porous media if you consider a separator in between but I'm considering an electrolyte so I will go with migration in electric field and since there is no convection so I won't be needing this one now since there are two species TEA and BF4 so I'm going to put two here number of species and then I'm going to name them as C underscore TEA and BF4. So these are my two species. Now, before I move further, let's add the transport of dilute species in porous media, which is this one. So double click this one. This one is only for cathode and anode, so we can deselect this one and these two will be selected. Now for this one, again I don't need the convection but I will consider migration in electric field as for the species again it's the same species so we'll have two species one would be TEA now I can define TEA since in here I also defined uh, as you can see it says the variable name must be unique meaning that since I already defined TEA here so the name of the uh, variable here must be different so let's define it TEA as P, P for porous matrix and we have four B. Yep. And before going further, let's add here materials in uh, material as well. Now, as you can see, it's only one, so we don't need to add an anything else. But for here, in this case, we need the porosity. Now, porosity 0 0.25. This is like common. You can find this value from literature articles as well just for more accuracy but I'm going to use 0 0.25 for the time being as for the dilute species now for the first thing is the transport properties so we'll have two different coefficients now these two are defined I haven't defined that yet so let's copy that I already built the whole model so I'm going to just copy these new values from here to here DTA is diffusion coefficient for tetraethyl ammonium ion and DBF4 is the diffusion coefficient for tetrafluoroborate 
deep poro is this is basically the diffusion coefficient within the porous matrix it's same for both species it's we can go with that for the timing as for these two these are the initial concentrations of tea which i will be using as the initial values uh, in in these this one and this two sub norms and zta and zbf4 is the charge or ionic charge on the two species which is, which is simply plus one and minus one so in the transport properties we are simply going to put t t e a and uh, it will be d b f and isotropic in nature now this one is a bit tricky so make sure to remember this one now this is the electric potential within this one so this is just liquid so we only need the potential that flows through electrolyte meaning phil now phi phi is the pot for potential and l represents the liquid electrolyte basically now when we work with secondary current distribution we define these two variables electrolyte potential and electric potential in the center we only have electrolyte so we only need the electric potential for liquid phil that's why for this one here we are only defining phil as for mobility we need the charge number which i already defined tea and this would be z b f4 yep and the initial values since uh, it is a concentration we are talking about so we can copy this one and since they are both same so it shouldn't be a problem here we can just simply just for the sake of convenience bf4 well another thing is in here since uh, this phil basically links this module with the current distribution now we also need to make sure that we are linking this transport dilute species with transport of dilute species in the porous media. So what, how, how we do that? We need to define boundary conditions on this side and this one. So for that we can define flux here and we will select both of these species since uh, I want to make sure like both of them crosses the interface. So let's select this boundary here and now what comes here? That's uh, very important. We, that's e plus it's easy now you can go to this fluid and this equation view here and find since this is the earth direction uh, so i'm only going to consider the flow in the r direction it's kind of uniform flow so we need the flux in r direction so we are looking for flux but in r direction something like this one see total flux R component so I will simply copy this one now I need to put this here and this one here and we can change this to be a 4 yeah add the second flux on for the other boundary and it's like this one and again it's like these two and the flux here would be same since the species in both of them are the same and only one modules deal with both of them so it's fine you can just simply select like simply put this one and change this to bf4 yeah now one thing that you need to consider is that this is a general inward flux meaning if this uh, boundary condition i'm defining for this electrolyte so inward from here would be in the negative r direction while inward from cathode would be in the positive r direction meaning that when i def define the flux here it's in the positive r direction so it's positive so we don't need to worry about that however when we consider this one the flow is in the negative r direction meaning i need to put this negative sign here to ensure that it's in the negative r direction inward flux flow from cathode to the electrolyte so that's it for this module the next one is transport of dilute species in porous media the first thing would be the fluid now in the fluid again it's within the porous media so we can simply use poro which i defined in here this one so i'm simply just going to copy this one and i'm defining both of them to be the same but you can change uh, based on what values you have for your own model 
and I'm going to use Brugerman model. Now this model is pretty common. That's why and almost every modeling paper that you will see on SuperQuest, they will have this kind of this model used for as a default thing. And f f now here I can simply select electric potential CD. Why? Because when I select electric potential, it considers this CD, meaning both solid and liquid potential. So since in porous media we have both of them so we can simply select this and that's will work for us and as here again the charges which is da and this would be bf4 yeah so yeah that's for that's it for the fluid for porous media we don't need to worry about anything we just need the porosity thing and we already defined that in a material so that's like automatically will be picked up from there and the thing here is we now uh, need to define the bounding conditions for like how this uh, porous media will interact with the electrolyte now i defined flux here it's not a good idea to define flux again so this time we'll define concentration here we'll discuss i will discuss this in the ad then why there, there is a flux here but concentration here for this is quite simple just use the variables that you defined for the concentration of the electrolyte which is c t e a and this would be c b f 4 uh, so this one is and we'll select this one another one for this bounding condition c t e a yeah now we don't need to worry about the signs here since it's concentration so it's not like it's it is like flux that i'm defining so that's why we don't need to worry about the signs here so that defines like the entire model and the next thing is simply just to mesh the whole model which is already meshed and we have like we can go extremely fine but to make it quick i'm going to select like normal and we can also define user control mesh but i think that's not really the topic of this video so let's go with physical control mesh as for the time dependence we can just define this to be maybe 10 seconds yeah and that's it for the entire model now as for this concentration and flux thing now this is a uh, uh, pretty vague even in literatures they don't really define how to define like this particular interface uh, in between the electrolyte and the solid uh, matrix here now mainly because this is a porous thing so if i define a continuous because concentration means that i'm considering a continuous concentration of species at these two interface but in reality at certain point like certain points we will have liquid coming in contact with the solid while at some other points we will have liquid coming in contact with the liquid part so it's kind of discontinuous but i notice that many authors they simply define it as continuous that's why we can define flux and concentration both of them it's fine but you will have to see the literature review for your own application or for the model that you want to build or that you have in mind so yeah that's for the whole simulation we can simply compute it so this is the result that you get now i forgot to add one uh, thing is that initial i did put the values of initial value here but i forgot to add it here so i added them later so after that you need to like run the simulation again and then you will get this result and as for the concentration you can add one deep plot point graph and then you can select this point at the interface and maybe select any concentration maybe T E A this one and you can check how the concentration is varying yep something like this yeah so that's it for the, the simulation I hope you like it and if you like the simulation do make sure to subscribe my channel thank you so much for watching